participants can be a communication minefield. On one hand, you want to present the best version of yourself to someone who could potentially be your partner. You want to get past awkward small talks to figure out whether the two of you are compatible. But on the other hand, you don't want to be too invasive. Okay, so why there is no rule book on how to act on a first date? There are some questions that could give your potential partner the wrong impression. So on these guys, I'm going to give out questions that is a no-no for like first date. So ride along with me. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, scratch that. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Omotaya, the face of TY Vlogs. So guys, as you can see from the title of today, it's like hot, hot something, okay? Today, we are going to be talking about questions that should not be asked on a first date. I mean, it's a first date. And I'm going to be showing the clips, this video, and then I want you guys to comment. Let me know what's up. Let me know what you think, who is right, who is wrong. Are there really questions that you should not ask on the first date or you think you can ask any question? That's so much ado. Let's just jump right into the video. What are the most important questions to ask during first date? Well, I think the most important question to ask on a first date are questions that relate to values and priorities. Chill. It doesn't have to be a series of serious questions, okay? Okay. So why there is no rule book on how to act on a first date? There are some questions that could give your potential partner the wrong impression. Personally, in my opinion, so I'm going to be classifying them into five groups of questions that should not be asked on a first date. Now, this is both sides, whether as a man to a lady, like as a man to a woman, or vice versa. And the first on my list, the first category of questions that should not be asked is, I call this question overly personal, invasive, nosy, or overwhelming questions. Yes, it's a lot. <laughs> and under this group of questions, we have something like are you a fadi <laughs> really are you kidding me <laughs> okay so that question see eh? at this point they are valid though for real like people actually ask these questions i mean it's a first date what's that supposed to mean it's too uh -uh, stop it okay what were you expecting so the person is not it's person is not you think the person will tell you no i'm not like okay like it's just not necessary how much do you weigh or what's your height on your first date i'm not going to talk too much really is a no no then we have what's your favorite position like you mean when i'm praying <laughs> no actually majorly this question is asked by people that you know what i mean then the last one this is tell me about yourself are we in like are we in an in, in an interview are we interviewing ourselves okay so this question is not like, like out of place but it is out of place this is the point so instead of asking this type of question of tell me about yourself like which part do you want to know it's it's obviously technically it's not a question but it's an implied question like you want to know about the person that's fine but you shouldn't start by saying tell me about yourself the question is broad so i would rather say it's kind of overwhelming it's better to start by telling the person what you want to know about them like tell them about yourself like the parts you want to know about them so you open up first that's better so the person will be able to you know relate with you and feel comfortable and then know exactly which part that you want them to talk about number two is financial status or situation 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 question like are we giving reports <laughs> questions like do you own a house no, no, you <laughs> people ask crazy okay. and awkward questions is what like why do you want to know that's not you might even be seen as a like maybe gold digger or something like being too too materialistic how much do you, how much money do you make or how much money do you have in your bank account? Yes, people actually ask this annoying question. Why do you think you're asking of their financial situation? You're actually just being rude. Three, third set of question is judgmental questions or comments. Example, why are you still single? Well, because I keep going out on a date with people like you that ask dumb questions like this. <laughs> why are you also still single? It's not even a question to be asked. It's not a question to debate on whether it's right or, or wrong. No. Do you always eat this much? Ah. <laughs> so that's actually judgmental and very embarrassing. Seriously. Now, I know maybe there are some exceptions. Maybe some people are actually extra, right? I have this random date with a guy and he's just eating everything off or a lady and he's just as an extreme. You get, you must have gotten to a particular stage where like it's just not it and then you can't take it anymore. But on a normal distance, some people, do you know some people even believe that maybe ladies should not eat so much in public? Like when you're eating, there's a way you should eat. I'm not saying that you should not be decent, okay? But I know what I'm saying, but I hope you guys understand. So the point is just that that question is not it. There are actually ways to express your opinion without necessarily being judgmental. That's the point. Do you always wear this much makeup? Why are you asking that kind of question now? You're meeting for the first time. Past relationship questions. I mean, all things are passed away, brother. Okay, so I'm not saying that at a point in 
that relationship you won't get to ask some of this that's not my point we are dealing with first dates like the first time we are meeting first time ever so why did you and your ex break up you don't necessarily need to need to ask that question on the first date like there are some people that have maybe past history that is negative or thin or painful experience and you just want to remind them that experience meeting the first time brother sister no have you ever cheated on someone before? Are we doing never have I here? <laughs> Are we playing a game? No, it's if it's a date. No to this question. No to this. Now the fifth and the last set of questions, which is going to take me to this video that we're going to watch right now, is this long-term related question. How many kids do you plan to have? First date, guy. First date, babe. Continue. Where do you see this relationship going? What are you looking for in a relationship? See, even if you are looking for someone to be in a serious relationship, no one likes to be asked all these questions on a first date. Like, you will just be hearing things like, it's too early. Like, we hear things like that a lot. And truly, that's just it. It's too early for that kind of question. You are meeting for the first time. Plus, you yourself should not decide whether or not you want to be with a person on a first date. After just one date, as a as a job as a job candidate they just call you and they're like ask you a few questions or whatever and just based on the first first test or first interview they've already accepted you most jobs have a series of processes so i don't think even you yourself for example as a recruiter should base your interest decision on the first time thing is even as a job candidate it's not every job that you just jump at you are going to consider other things so that you not enter one chance now why you should be upfront about whether you just want to hook up or would like something more serious to be fair is a pretty witty question laid on someone you just met and finally god no go so so i went on a date with this guy yeah it's a guy some of you might know, but I won't mention names. It was supposed to be a perfect date. Seaside, candlelight, good food. And we're supposed to try to know each other, like get to know each other. First date now, as courtesy see demand. And this guy came up with questions like, if ever do you see yourself in the next five years? And I'm like, balance me here real quick. Am I on a date or attending an interview? Like, I don't understand. Guys, you really need to learn the kind of questions you'll be asking on the first date. Then I asked Mr. Man. Mr. Man, what, what's your retirement plan? Let's be petty together. Now, me too, I know how to be petty. <laughs> and so I told my friend, and my friend was like, I you should have done that. Please, have I done anything wrong? If you were in my shoes, what would you do? Mm? Girls, what's the weirdest questions you've been asked on a date? Because after that question I asked, we all went our separate ways. And that was it. Tell me, <laughs> what's the weirdest questions you've been asked? <laughs> Let's discuss. <laughs> Hi guys, so yesterday a lady made a video speaking of how a guy on the first date was asking her what her plans were for the next five years. Let's cut the story. I'm the guy she was referring to and I am not ashamed to ask you what your plans are for the next five years because I'm only trying to know you. I want a lady that prepares for the future. If you don't plan for the future, you're already planning to fail. And I don't want that for myself or for my family. Let's even know what we are doing before we dabble into anything or get into it. So it's not too much to ask you on the first date. What are your plans for the next five years? Where do you see yourself? And then you get angry and walk out on the date. You walk out on me. Does that even make sense? I mean, I want to be 70 years old and, and be living comfortably. I don't want to be asking my children for pocket money. That's not the kind of life I want for myself and my family. No! I want to be able to travel to the, to, to the Bahamas, to Mauritius, even at an older age with my family. And live large. And if we don't plan for it, things will not fall in place. You have to plan. So I'm asking you, what are your plans for the next five years? Am I wrong for asking? Uh -uh. Is it too much to ask? I really want to know you guys' opinion in the comment section. Like, you can start dropping, start dropping your opinion in the comment section, like right now, seriously, because I feel that some people said it's right, some people said wrong. You get. So I want to know which category you belong to. Like, what do you really think? Do you think that question is not weird? It's not awkward for a first date? And what do you think about the other points I mentioned earlier? I believe that the purpose of first date is to is to have fun and find commonalities. So I don't think you should be overly serious and you should be serious. It's just like finding a balance. I mean, it should be fun. It should be fun thing to look forward to while also finding your common ground. So this person said, in the first place, this guy looks aggressive. I agree. This lady just made a point while smiling. But Oga, in my opinion, the guy lack content that's why that's what probably led to the question getting to know someone is not asking about my plans for the next five years what if my plans are yearly or quarterly <laughs> so this person is actually hilarious but really he's making a point 
The girl said, it's a wrong question to ask on the first. That's what this person said. Another person said, I don't know why I'm laughing. My opinion, I think the guy asked the question at the wrong time. It is their first date. You can get to know the lady's personality even without asking a direct question like this. I, I, I actually support this. Like, I mean, there are several ways to ask a question without necessarily asking directly. Another person said, they are just on two different frequencies of life. In life, my wife asked me same question and I answered. That is also because I wasn't coming to play games. I was ready to marry like yesterday. Like yesterday. Okay. <laughs> you were not However, going to. I think going on dates should be for people who are intending to settle down, really. It is not meant to be for the fun of it alone. Have fun, but apply sense. I will go with the guy, unfortunately. Well, that is quite unfortunate. This person said, where there is no plan, the people perish. Example. We do keep <laughs> This is pure sarcasm, okay? So somebody else said, the question isn't wrong, but not on the first date. Nah, Abba. Maybe not. I feel that it's just been too overly serious. He's talking about, um, you, I want to, uh, I want to go for the honeymoon. I want to be, go to by Mauritius. Well, you know I want happened. to go to Mauritius. Okay. I want to do this. I want to do that. Who is saying that you should not do that? You're talking about seventy years. I want to do. I don't want to do this thing. I don't want to be asking for pocket money for my children. All those things are way too much for a first date. We should not like. Wow, who is putting responsibility on who? And from the look, it was not like the lady is not okay. She's okay, obviously. It's not like she's not independent. Or trying to look for what is not so i don't think that comes in you're talking about 70 years from now like first date i mean you can do better now this person said the question is not wrong but for me on a first date is wrong because i will not start telling you my future plans when i don't know you too well i concur i agree i support i mean i agreed i'm in support of this <laughs> now this other person said you can also see the guy getting angry pretty easy hmm. possible red flag or just really annoyed by her actions Question mark. Both should go on a second date and try again. I doubt if there will be a try again in this case. Oh, but <laughs> let me know your opinion in the comment section. This matter, very on the head. <laughs> Finally, this person said this is not a first date question. Exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. I repeat, this is not a first date question. <laughs> I don't know you, you are not my friend, so why do you think it's okay to ask me my five year plans? I beg, let the guy calm down. Life is not that. After you meet the lady and you see that you are getting along, you can ask her that question on a second or third day. And I'm sure she will be more comfortable responding. What is the hurry? Kept talking about there is no time. Abi is planning to die tomorrow. Ah. I don't know about this one. <laughs> there are rules of etiquette, and asking a total stranger a five-year plans on a first date does not make sense. I beg. That's what she said. Well, that's what he said. If he thought it was right, why did he not answer the lady's question about his retirement plans? <laughs> if you can dish it, better be ready to take it. So, guys, I've come to the end of this video. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your opinion. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Like, I can't wait to read what you guys think. Let's interact in the comment section, please. I really want to know. It's completely wrong to ask that question on the first day let me know in the comment section below. and if you are on the yes there's no big deal the question is right because so and so and so and so let me also know what you think in the comment section like i said for me the, it's not a question for a first date now maybe we have been if we've met for and probably have been conversing on phone with like we've become friends basically i don't think i can marry somebody i'm not friend with like that friendship is very important because i mean it's on that basis that we can relate so well and oh, but obviously that doesn't make it a first date anymore if we've been conversing before thanks so much guys for watching and see you in my next video bye